What's that one video game you've always wanted to play, but for one reason or another, couldn't? Recently, I was reminded of my one video game like that. And, like an old friend I had lost contact with, I decided to check in on them. I assume I'd be returning to the same old YouTube videos and gaming blogs, but somehow, in the intervening years, the project had been uploaded to the Internet Archive. It was everything I'd hoped for, but that was only the start. I had to invite friends to play this game as intended, and sharing my fascination with it sparked their own fascination. Years ago it felt like everyone was talking about this game, but today the discussion of the project has completely disappeared. Heck, my friends had no idea the game even existed. Their ignorance made me wonder, perhaps there's more people out there who, if they only knew about it, might fall in love with this game too. So let's talk about 2016's MULTIBOL! MULTIBOL is a competitive video game mixtape curated by the creator of Quop and getting over it, Bennett Foddy. Two players go head to head in a decathlon of micro games, with points awarded for completing short and simple prompts. As these tasks change every 30 seconds, Multibowl's challenge is both one of skill and intuition. In a split second, you've got to figure out a new game's controls, comprehend your goal, devise a strategy, and execute on it. Think quick, because you're already running out of time when each round starts. The concept is similar to Nintendo's WarioWare series, but with one important difference. Multibow's microgames are derived from existing titles, played via the open source emulator MAME. Foddy began working on Multibow with the goal of helping build literacy in video game history. The technical hurdles of finding and emulating games had previously made many titles inaccessible to new players, but with that hurdle crossed by years of hard work from the emulation community, a new issue arose. How to curate it all. In Foddy's own words, what if you didn't have to go through the process of starting a game and going through the tutorial level and all that boring stuff? What if it just jumped you to the good bit? And it's easier with multiplayer games to realise this. Rather than only focus on recognisable titles, Multibowl privileges original, simultaneous two-player games. For example, basketball games with gameplay similar to NBA Jam were excluded for originality and games like F-Zero were excluded for lack of co-current two-player modes. As a result, Multibowl exposes players to titles and concepts they may never have seen. Multibowl wants you coming back for more and properly documents its sources. Each game is introduced with its full title, year of release and developer, and its scoring system is kept spartan so that it never takes attention away from the games at the centre of the board. A mixtape analogy is perfect because this curated method avoids the choice paralysis of hundreds of ROMs, the tedium of setting up each emulator, and the hope of finding something good, often dashed because the first level didn't catch your fancy. Instead, Multibowl is a great playlist where the individual songs are not endpoints, but the beginning of new adventures. Since playing Multibowl, my friends and I have discovered a bevy of new treasures, each sparking our imagination and expanding the world of vintage games. Though not every game is worth further investment, because Multibowl transforms each game. It only shows the good stuff, and many of these arcade titles may not stand the scrutiny beyond 30 seconds. In that respect, Multibowl is a playable collage, taking pre-existing work and turning it into something new. One of my favourite examples of Multibowl's ability to inspire is from my experiences with NCAA Basketball. Although most retro game fans have seen titles that use effects like Mode 7 and Super Scaling to achieve 3D effects, I highly doubt you've seen anything like this. Once you do, you'll probably want to see more games with an unorthodox approach, and well, I know I did. It's a bit of an unfortunate irony that, while the concept of Multibowl is appealing because of its accessibility, it's never been made publicly available. Simply, the whole idea is a complete legal nightmare. I thought I'd never play Multibowl myself because the few times it had appeared were at gallery shows and video game exhibitions, and there hadn't been one for years. And its absence is a profound loss for everyone. Multibowl is historically important, and deserves permanence. Recently, the Video Game History Foundation revealed that only 13% of games made before 2010 are still available to purchase. Preserving video games history becomes more tenuous every year, and it's difficult to maintain literacy with new players when games and concepts are lost to time. 
It's also not something that can be left to big publishers and developers to curate. Some legally obtainable games do riff on similar concepts to Multibolt, like Nintendo's NES Remix series as well as those scant few WarioWare microgames. But ultimately, these titles are always going to be filtered through the perspective of their corporate masters, and they're built to lean on nostalgia to get your attention. And moreover, NES Remix is now no longer available due to the Wii U's digital store going offline. So much for preservation, I guess. A month ago, Multibowl was the one game I always wanted to play, and today it's the one game I want everyone to play. Projects like it matter not because they give players access to 300 odd ROMs and expect them to pass meaning out of them, but because their curated nature allows an accessible on-ramp to seeing each game's best features. Bennett Foddy made Quop and getting over it, but he's also a video games professor, and that's reflected in his approach to curation. The titles included aren't just the most important or most popular games, because what's popular or important shifts with the culture. They're a reflection on their curator. Oddball picks cutely annotated with the developer's own thoughts. But the point is that Multibowl has a very specific concept, which is a mixtape of the best head-to-head -head moments across 80s and 90s arcade games. It's a great start, but my hope is that someday we'll have a Multibowl for other hardwares and eras of game design. As emulation technology improves, so too these games' best moments can be demonstrated, enjoyed, and hopefully iterated on.